hello everyone let's use text so click on the text and uh, it will appear on the viewport click on hierarchy view and uh, you should rename all the objects and materials so that in the future it will be easier for you or someone else who's uh, editing the template to know which is which so like the material press f2 rename the text i will call it data text and one now go to material uniform and change it to data text mat one okay it lets me know that this material applies to the data text without wondering or thinking about or going back and forth to see what's like to what so if i go back to the material editor and first of all i will change the icon size for the font so that you can see it better as you can see the text has the material data text applied to it then we can come to the material editor and change the text i will change the diffuse to red so i have changed the text but it's not appearing on the text so what you have to do is come to the hierarchy and select the data text now come to the parameters press f4 and uh, scroll down and uh, here you will see the extended parameters section and here ignore white space material color front material color, color walls material color back so this is the text and uh, you have to check these uh, check boxes to apply the material color from the material so if i click this applies to the front so if i rotate the 3d object and you can see it's it doesn't apply to the back okay and uh, it's flat now so what i will do is extrude the text so we can see it better and you can see it now so it is applied to the front but it is not applied to the back now we can also apply it to the back now it is applied to the back also and not applied to the middle section you can click on walls and it is applied to the all as you can see that object is 3d but the material is 2d so it doesn't make sense to use this because it turns everything flat no texture no shine etc so what i will do is uh, come to the editor and create a standard material so i will rename it to data text mat 3d and uh, click and drag it to the object now you can also select it uh, from here and uh, you can also select it from here okay then right click and delete material so we have the material and you can see now it's looking like 3d so select ambient color can use black doesn't matter change the diffuse color the actual color of the object and uh, specular is the uh, color it emits when the light shines from it so light reflects from it actually so it will be lighter red and the hue will be darker so if you rotate it and you can see what it's doing now if uh, i come back to the text and come to the bottom and uncheck the front you will see that the texture has applied to the uh, object but it is not applied to the front of the text this is because uh, if you don't select the the extended parameters the color is applied to the internals of the text editor so if you select the text and change the color to yellow and uh, 3d its color to green and you can also change the background color to okay that's okay now you can see so it is affecting the back or highlight color which is blue and uh, we have applied the red material to it uh, so it's creating the gradient of uh, blue to red or something which is here but uh, other than that if i select the front the material we have created will be applied to the front 
of the text or we can choose it to white space the material we have created will affect the white space and uh, it turns uh, transparent i'm not sure why but it does there is that now if i do wall and rotate i can see this is red now if i uncheck it this is uh, taking the texture text color which we have set on the rich text editor up in the top 90% of the time you won't use this text editor and you will never change the text from here or color from here or anything from here so don't worry about that and ignore it and uh, you can use this area to change the text but wait a moment and see if you change the text from here i will place one two three it will lose all the uh, design and uh, texturing you have done in the rich text editor so it doesn't make any sense to use uh, this online graphics you will be using the data which is coming from somewhere else and uh, it will be dynamic and it will be changing constantly so mostly you will not be able to use the rich text editor usually but you can do so and uh, in the future videos i will let you know how you may use this for now just ignore it and uh, just use the extrude property in a text area and uh, the text type these are several types in free text you can write anything and uh, it is not uh, limited to the number or date time anything but uh, you can also use number if you choose the number the inner text will be ignored and uh, now it will use the numeric text and you can see I only put 10 but it is displaying me 10.00 so I can choose the behavior of it by going to the format and choosing these decimal points I can use 0 or if I want 3 decimal points can use 3 or any other value you might like I will choose use 0 and um, if you want to prefix any uh, symbol or word to, to the text you can do so here and suffix here if I choose dollar and uh, this and save you can see format is applied to the text automatically let's turn on the material which we have created and uh, rotate so we can see now we can also create time and it will show the time the time format you can choose from here so this is hours minutes and seconds i will modify it you can see it okay if you don't want the seconds you can do so now you can also change the fonts so you can do this change the font size font weight if font has one the italic underline tracking tracking is the gap between the characters of your text and these are stopwatch and countdown and we will discuss it later so if i go back to free and change the text so hello world and also reduce the size so we can see now the tracking is the space between the characters actually so we can change this and uh, if we have a multiple line text like this now the line spacing is the space between each line so you can increase or decrease it align the text if you are using language like arabic or uh, anything like that you can use right to left for this it will start writing from right to left so mostly in English and Hindi, we will use left to right. Okay, now it's the alignment. So it's left aligned. Now it's right aligned, you can see. And it's centered. Center and vertical alignment is same. Top, bottom and center. Okay, now bounded text is something like uh, you can bound this text to only appear on the selected area and uh, do not bleed out so if i turn on the bounded box it will disappear and so bounded rectangle so our bounded box is this and text is very large that's why it is trimmed out because we have selected the action on overflow is trim if we increase the bounded width and bounded box height you can see the text is starting to appear now what if we have more text and uh, the bounded box is very small like this so we can what we can do is change the accent to fit now it will fit all the text in the selected the bounded area so if i come here and add some extra text here you can see the text but if i add more lines it still disappeared so we can use proportional fit 
and uh, all the text we have used will appear and uh, that font size will change and uh, reduce and uh, if we have less text it will increase as well and uh, there are many things there is uh, text animation and uh, other important stuff well that's it for now and uh, i think this video is uh, going very long so i will stop here and uh, i will continue in next video so please subscribe and thank you Thank you.